First off, thanks for watching. Secondly, please hit the like and subscribe. YouTube is playing ads on my channel and they are giving me zero dollars for that. So they're basically taking the content that creators are making and even though they're very popular, tens of thousands of views some of my videos go have gotten, I haven't gotten one cent off that. I, I would like to make this at least a part-time entrepreneurial job. I believe the content that I share is helpful. Maybe it's not as always as pretty as other channels, but I think they're unique and useful videos. So please hit the like and subscribe. And as far as the Dell, Dell G5 5000 goes, uh, if you saw my other video, you know I've only got like five or $600 in this whole computer. Uh, I spent some money on a fan, another fan I had laying around, and the 1050 Ti I had. I was going to sell on eBay, but I had a zero feedback bidder who bought quote unquote bought it so that deal did not go through and then I got to kind of thinking about it I'm like well let me see what it'll, it'll mine uh, Ethereum Classic at and this little card is turning in right now at these prices $30 a month before electricity costs it's not too bad because I think I only had gotten like a $140 bid for the card so yeah I'm just gonna you know let this thing go uh, temps are great I uh, didn't take a screenshot but trust me they're maybe in the 80s was, was like the hot spot on one of the GPUs. Generally, uh, GPU and uh, hot spot temps are in the 60s and 70s, so it's running cool. Um, longevity should be pretty good because there's quite a bit of upgraded airflow with the Dell G5 5000. If anybody wants more info on that, just let me know in the comments if you want to know what else I put in. I'm going to have links to the equipment that I bought were applicable. The little Axial fan, I don't know uh, where I got that. So my apologies, but I'll definitely link to the, uh, the other stuff. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Hit the like and subscribe. Use those links. If you want to send me a dollar cup of coffee via PayPal, let me pay my bills, buy some new gear, buy toys to show off on YouTube. Uh, that would be great. Any, anything you want to send is, is super. A dollar will buy me a cup of coffee at McDonald's. And I really do appreciate those. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Hope you enjoy the video. All right, this is ugly because I have done little to no cable management on this uh, Dell G5 5000. I've managed to mount a 1050 Ti here. Uh, the way you do that is the hole in the front where the bottom of the bracket goes through. And if you buy a number 440 screw at Lowe's, that mounts into where the uh, slot is. And then finally, I have a, a zip tie there. So this is actually secured in three places right there. I don't have this super tight right now, but it's it's tight enough to where it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, I'll link to this PCI riser. It's pretty good. Uh, it locks in, of course, but you've got one, two, three possible power inputs there, even an old uh, Molex if you have that. Um, pretty standard as far as the other stuff goes. That came with a, uh, a SATA power connector. So the uh, 1050 Ti is powered by the one extra SATA connector that's there. I've upgraded the cooling. This is a 92 millimeter Noctua fan uh, that's just mounted with the uh, rubber bungees in the back. I've put the 80 millimeter fan in the front uh, the 80 millimeter fan is the, uh, the old one that comes with it, that comes with the Dell 5000. That is split on the motherboard header so that, uh, you know, it's running at the, uh, the full speed. This one has the uh, PWM 4 connector going to it. So the 80 millimeter actually blows a fair amount of air uh, when it's on full speed and that's pointed right at the 1660 uh, that comes in this. A word about the price on this machine, I got the whole thing for, I've probably got less than $600 in this, and right now I'm saying over $125 a month. So I expect within a few months, I'll basically have this paid off. Uh, the last thing I have, this is a, uh, this comes with the Noctua. It's a uh, quite, how do they put it, uh, 
noise reducer. Basically, it, it goes in uh, to the three pin PWM, PWM uh, splitter. I split the CPU. Uh, which one did I split with that? Oh, the CPU. Yeah, okay, so the CPU fan is running off the four pin PWM out of that old janky splitter, that multicolored splitter that's not braided or anything, but it was free. Somebody gave that to me, long story short. So the three pin connector off that splitter, off the CPU header, uh, goes into the quietener. And that one, I, I will clean up some of these wires, I promise, because I feel your pain. So that's an axial fan. The opening is against the power supply. Actually, even with the, uh, the noise reducer, that pulls quite a bit of air, so that should help further with the cooling. Um, and I'm, I could, if the temps were bad, um, take this off and have it run at full speed. But when I'm mining, actually all the temperatures, or both the hot spots and the GPU temps on both these cards, is less than uh, 70 degrees C across the board. And that'll probably drop it down a little lower because it'll pull air through the, uh, should pull air through the back of the power supply. That is actually just wedged in there. That is pretty tight. Um, I don't really have a reference on where to get that, but that's wedged in there pretty tight with the wiring and the back of it's flat. So the, you know, the, the open fan parts here and it's not gonna hit the, K, hit the uh, power supply or anything. Again, I promise you I'll clean these wires up. I, I had to build that because I had that fan scavenged off something. It actually pulls quite a bit of air, so that's why I'm okay with leaving the, uh, the noise reducer on it. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, some of the cables wrap or uh, right across the back. I would say go ahead and like and subscribe. Ha, gotcha. Hit that like and subscribe button. I would say it might be worth getting some right angle, uh, right angle USB 3 cable uh, for the uh, PCI riser because it does go straight out there. There might be a small amount of stress on that, probably not too much. Like it, it does have quite a bit of room. Um, and I have run this like this before. I basically had this uh, last night like that. Again, you can get these at Lowe's. It's a number four, 440. It is a uh, number four. 40 by a half inch so there's really not any way for this car to move around too much and you could further i'll probably further maybe tighten up that zip lock but it really doesn't move around enough it, it's held in there and it's not going to hit anything because even if that comes up this side will stop the car from contacting even anything but it's going to be right side up anyway in this case is going to be vertical so Super ugly, but you know, it is making money and I can still use it and play games on lower settings at the same time and mine ether in the background. So go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. Have a laugh at my expense, but once again, it's making money. It was cheap. Uh, so thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. See ya.